boy, howdy, boys and girls, men and women of all ages and walks of life. Welcome once again to the building side of the garage. Uh, had a bunch of events happen lately. As you know, uh, if you're watching out for the uh, video uh, with my guest star, obviously that did not happen. We have had an outbreak of the flu in our family. Thank God I have not got it so far, but I've certainly been exposed to it. So hopefully um, I won't end up with it. What a mean thing to say, huh? <laughs> But somebody's got to take care of everybody else. Anyways, guys, I've spent the last few days uh, going hither and yon to try to find uh, um, medication. That's, uh, by the way, unlike our family, I hope you're having a wonderful and a blessed day. And uh, that's number 40-something on the old loop pedal for your listening and dining pleasure, of course. And uh, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to my videos. Give me a thumbs up if I uh, do a good job. Share it with your friends. Please leave comments what you think of this stuff I'm doing. Anyways, guys, back to the other subject. Um, as you can see, I'm putting another coat of uh, True Oil. Best stuff there is. Uh, some might disagree with that, but I sure like it. On this uh, Burl Ash Telecaster, which I've stained and am now oiling. You know, I went back and forth in my little pea brain about what I was going to do if I was going to try to epoxy the top so it would lock all that grain in there, but this would be only the second uh, guitar that I have actually oiled and left with a lot of the grain exposed. I think it's going to be pretty nice that way, and it'll, I don't know if they truly sound better, you guys. That's a, that's a whole different subject and a whole... It's kind of like tube and transistor amp and modeling amps, you know what I mean? Some people say that one's better than the other, and I think it's all in the in the way you handle the instrument, the way you play it, and your your fingers. And unless it's just a real pile of junk, the uh, transistor modeling amps these days are pretty darn good. They don't react exactly like a tube amp, and they never will, I don't think, ever truly sound like one. But you know, uh, that's a big debate for another day. But I wanted to keep you in the loop as usual. I wanted to let you know that I'm I'm going to sneak out here when I can, when everybody's okay and medicated, and uh, you know is uh, s sleeping soundly in their bed or whatever they need to do to get well. Anyways, guys, holidays are coming up. Yeah, going to have an invasion from Southern California. Maybe I'm not sure because they don't want to come up here if we're really sick. So we're just going to have to uh, kind of wait and see what happens there. I want to apologize to my good buddy, Rockin' Rick Harris, for uh, having to cancel uh, his big debut on my channel. I know he was really looking forward to it. He was figuring maybe he's going to be that a huge rock star after this. You never know. And that could happen. But we'll probably have to postpone that till after the holidays. Make sure everybody's uh, well and also all the in-laws are back uh, at their homes. If they even come up. Anyways, guys, that's kind of what's going on here. I've got about, uh, this is about the fourth thick coat I put on this thing. I've done about three on the back and the sides. Now, as you can kind of see, maybe, this grain isn't super uh, loose. It's pretty tight on this guitar, uh, the back. I don't honestly know what it's made of. I don't know if it's bass wood or junk wood of some kind. It's pretty nice. Uh, you know, there's not a whole lot of, uh, you can't see a whole bunch of different pieces of wood, which is always nice on one of these kit guitars. Anyways, guys, that's kind of what's going on. I wanted to make sure that I had a video come out. I don't know if I'll be doing any more blues Saturdays or surfs up Sundays for a while. I'm just not sure, but I will try to get out here as often as I can and say hey to you guys, boy howdy and all that good stuff. And uh, show you what, show you my progress, slowly but surely. This oiling process does take a long time, and uh, it really needs to dry really good after you've had all your coats on. And pretty soon, maybe uh, two more thick coats down the road, 
I will start thinning this stuff out because that's when it gets to have a real nice gloss and shine to it. But this will still be a uh, little grainy. This is gonna, I'm not going to bury the grain on this. I think it'll look better that way, and who knows, it may sound better, you know, that big debate. Uh, finish or no finish, uh, nitrocellulose uh, lacquer, or polyurethane, or nothing at all, just oil. You know, it's just a controversy, and I think it's just who the guy is to play is playing the guitar at that point in time, and what he likes, or she. Anyways, guys, I just wanted to uh, touch base with you, let you know what was going on, we got most of the parts for this. The one weird thing about this is this has P90s that uh, screw into the body. So there's no screw holes. There's two for this uh, middle pickup, but the other stuff's just kind of float in there. And it's gonna be kind of weird to wire it. I'll have to make one of those little uh, cardboard templates of this thing, put all the electronics on that, solder it all together, and then transfer it over. Because these are just gonna just go in. Anyways, guys. Once again, hope you're having a wonderful and a blessed day. Heck, having a wonderful, blessed week. Uh, that's kind of all I got to talk about today because I got to get this done, then I got to get back in the house and make sure everybody's doing all right, you know, and all that kind of good stuff that we all, we care about each other and we take care of each other. Anyways, guys, lastly, Randy's Guitar Shop says to you, have a wonderful Christmas. Uh, please pray for your country for your world, for your friends. Now you can pray for us because we're sick. <laughs> well, at least not me yet. Anyways, guys, uh, keep keep everybody in your thoughts and your prayers, especially people that need healing because it's uh, important uh, that our thoughts and prayers go up. So anyways, I think I will go ahead once again. If you like my videos, please subscribe, like them, share them with other like-minded uh, guitar amp people, stuff like that. Uh, leave comments. I love comments. I don't get a lot, but I, I do get comments, and I really, really enjoy them. And like I said before, sometimes I actually take them to heart and do what's suggested. Other times I don't, but you know, <clears throat> that's all in what an individual decides to do. Anyways, guys, I will see you guys later in the next installment. Take care of yourselves. Be well. Bye-bye. <laughs>